Samsung isn't afraid of taking chances, and the Galaxy Note Edge is the perfect example of this. It looks a lot like the Galaxy Note 4, but it actually has a third edge for multitasking and other cool features. The Galaxy Note Edge has a similar screen to the Galaxy Note 4. It has the same Quad HD resolution of 2560 by 1440 pixels, but it's slightly smaller. The design is pretty much the same as the regular Note 4. You can see we've got the faux leather back from Samsung, traditional style. There's also the same aluminum frame, although you'll see that on this edge it's slightly more rounded. You can customize the edge as little or as much as you want. You can scroll through all of your favorite applications right here on the edge, and if you want to add new ones, you just tap on this star right here. And there you'll be able to see all of your favorite applications, and you can just drag them right over onto the edge, and then they're there. You can also manage your edge and add different panels if you want by going to the edge settings right here. There you can reorder your panels, add new ones, and even add a personal touch if you want. The Edge also has this really cool function where you can access some of your quick settings, including a microphone for recording, uh, the light bulb for when you need a good light, a timer, and also a ruler, which is my personal favorite. I've actually been measuring a lot of things with this. You can flip through all your different edges right here. So this one is a notifications bar. It will let you know if you've gotten a text, an email, or also if you've gotten a, an update from Twitter or maybe from Facebook. You can also add your weather based on your location. And there's another panel, which is a Twitter ticker tape, which shows you all of the most trending topics on Twitter as we speak. And you can click on any one of them and you'll be sent automatically to the Twitter app. There's also one for a calendar invite, so you can see what's going on in your schedule. And there's one that's a ticker tape of news running from Yahoo. You can add Yahoo science news and regular news, but they don't have a text section yet though I'm sure they'll add one soon. There's also a few games like Memory Match and Tiny Burger that you can play right on this edge. You can also play them covertly so no one will know that you're actually playing a game while you're on your phone, as long as you hide the edge from view. The Note Edge has the same great S Pen as the Galaxy Note 4, so you can take all of your notes the same way you normally would, and it's really nice because all of your controls are over here on the edge of the device. They don't waste up the space on your screen so you can write as much as you want, and it's no problem. As you can see, it's really fast and responsive as well. It writes very nicely, and you can change all your things. You can select your brush right over here, just the width of the brush and things like that. It's really handy having your toolbar over here on the edge, so that way you can write whatever you want right here on the screen. Samsung uses the Edge for a lot of different app controls, including that of the camera. So when you open the camera app, you'll see that you have all of your controls at the top edge of the camera. That way your whole screen is available for the field of view so you can see perfectly exactly what you're shooting. Sometimes this can get a little annoying though because when you're trying to hold the phone and take the picture at the same time, you occasionally end up running into the Edge and hitting the mode button or hitting the camera button when you didn't really mean to do it. So while it's handy, sometimes the edge can be a bit of a problem. One of the best things about the edge is that it lets you multitask. So say you wanna go into Buzzfeed and you wanna read a news article. You just go straight into the news article and then you can scroll over onto the edge whenever you want and check out if you've got any new notifications. So if you got an email, there would be like a little one there telling you that you've just gotten an email. And then you can switch right over to the mail app and check out your email and see what's going on. And then you can go right back to BuzzFeed and keep on reading. 